What up, y'all? It's Somo, and you're checking out my boy, David Dwayne. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning back into On Air with your one and only rock star on the mic, David Dwayne, in the place to be. Yes, right here on My Fierce Wings Radio, we've got our boy, recording artist, Somo. Now, if you guys don't know who Somo is, you're about to find out right now. He's got this dope album, The Answers. He's about to, you know, kick off The Answers tour in just a few weeks, and he's got the new single, First, which you guys had to have checked out. If you don't know, you need to check it out now. Download the album, and he's with us. What's going on, Somo? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing great. So glad to have you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just hanging out here in Texas, getting ready for this tour, like you said. Absolutely. And how are you feeling, you know, about this, you know, this tour? Because I know you've been touring a lot, and you really do tour a lot, but this is, like, really, you know, like a real big tour for you. How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling good. Yeah, like you said, it's, 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 it's a big tour for me just because for the first time in my career, um, my a project is lining up with a tour. So I've always kind of been able to tour um, pretty easily in between projects and whatnot, but this is the first one that actually lined up timing-wise where I got to put it out and, you know, do some promo for it and, and get on the road and really, really play it fresh for my fans. Because before when I was starting out, you know, I didn't have as many original songs, so... I would just play my new songs that weren't weren't even out yet. So my fans a lot of times would hear some of the songs live before they would hear them on the, on the album. So this will be the first one. I just get it's all fresh. I, Man, that's got to be you know very rewarding because like you said, you know you've been you've been touring for a while and you know you just you know done songs that were you know they weren't yours and then you let people preview into that. Like that's really amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's been a fun journey for sure. So what can you say, like, you know, the fans can look forward to, like, with this tour? Because, you, like I said, you've been torn. And, and i and, and I got to say, you know, from you being, you know, sort of being independent and, you know, then, you know, going from that journey to being a major artist like that, that's incredible, you know. And a lot of people don't understand, you know, torn and creating a, you know, genuine fan base is really, you know, the way to go. It is. It is. I mean, my fans are my everything. I feel like, you know, as Somo, I'm never going to change. Somo has been Somo I can remember, so <laughs> I'm going to be that. And you know, my fans support me for, for being me, and it, it's not based on, you know, anything but that. So it's all love. It's just been growing and growing, and my fans become friends. They come to shows together, and they meet up, and it's a great thing. Indeed. So now let's get into it. You know, talk about this album, this, this sophomore album, The Answers. You know, the, the album that everybody needs to be downloading right now. As you know, we talk. You know, I, I gotta say, I love the feel of this album. It's very chill. It's real laid back. It's like it, the elements are so perfect. You know, just going into the recording process of this album. You know, what was the emotion and the intent that you wanted? You know, your fans and for you know just the world to you know um, take in with this album. Oh, really? Just you know, I'm a lover. Um... I believe in love, I believe in romance, but I'm also a typical, you know, man, um, <laughs> in the sense. And uh it, it really is just like my my angsty love story of, you know, the past few years and kind of going from, you know, being in the club in the beginning, you know, it starts off at, at the beginning, the answer is, you know, it's high energy and whatnot. And then I get to the point where, you know, I'm kind of like, okay, I start reflecting more on the in, on the inside stuff, so. It's it's fun. It, it starts fun and then you get to the deep stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. And I gotta say, my personal favorite from the um, the album so far, just besides first, is uh, playing control. Like I just love where you took the direction with that. You know, with those singles, and I like how they come like right back to back. You know, tell me the inspiration behind <laughs> yeah. uh, both tracks. Um, really, play was one of the first songs that I had written. Um, it was actually a freestyle, so the first verse going into the... Oh, wow. The, just a, a freestyle or a piano, um, just the, the straight piano, and, and I had that song for, you know, like a year and a half, and I was like, cool, this is a great song, I need to finish this, and then I met Maddie Noyes, and I was able to finish it as a duet, and it just came together so well. And then Control is a very Toronto sound, I know it's got that Drake feel, because I made it in Toronto with um, with these guys in Toronto, and, and, and ended it up being you know, one of my biggest songs. It's been fun. Absolutely. Like I said, I love that, those singles. And then let me ask you, you know, kind of keeping up, you know, with the, the same element of the songs uh, first, you know, the being the first single um, and the video with that, you know, like it very central. I love the concept. What, what made you want to go like that direction with that song, you know, versus any other direction that you could have went? In terms of the video or in terms of the yeah, writing? Yeah, uh, the video. 
Uh, the video, it was actually a, a, a treatment by um, the guys who directed it, and they sent me it, and, and it just fit perfect, honestly. I can't take credit for the for the treatment of the video, but, um, you know, it has that, that deep, dark vibe, the water vibe. It's, it, you know, it kind of, you know, you, you connect with it. You got to listen to the song. I don't want to be too dirty on here, but, you know, it's wet. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally. And that was the, and, and honestly, like, not for nothing, like, that was the first thought that came to my mind, like, whoa, this song is wet. And I was just like, yo, someone would take it into a whole another direction. And a lot of my friends who have been checking out your album, because I, I be telling people, you know, you got to check out these albums, check out these people that I be interviewing, because they really be, really be doing it. And that was the first thing, like, a lot of the ladies said, like, this is wet. And a lot of guys was like, yo, this joint is some other type of lit-ish. Yeah, it's got that drip drop bang. Definitely. And so now, what would you say, um, you, you know, your feeling has been, you know, from the great response from this project? Because it seems like you get a lot of, you know, a lot of great feedback. I mean, your your fans are, like, constantly tweeting you, Instagram and Facebook, like, they're always sending their love. But with this project, you know, how would you say the, you know, the response to this album has been um, different for you? Uh, it's been, honestly, an incredible response. Uh, you know, sophomore albums tend to be the hardest one for artists, um, you know, I can't say that I wasn't a little nervous, you know, to drop it and have my fans receive it. But the the response has been, like, 100% support. You know, I haven't gotten that, oh, you changed or anything, so feels good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what's up. And, I mean, you definitely have not changed. You know, like, you're, you you keep a, you know, a concept and an element. You know, you, you keep it there, then you, like, you progress. And that's what a lot of artists and a lot of, you know, listeners, you know, of music, I have to understand, like, you know, there's, a, there's not going to be so much with artists that, you know, goes too crazy with, you know, R&B, with pop stuff like that. It, it changes, you know, a little bit, you know, but you're going to get that right. same core, that same core sound. Definitely, man. I, I believe in the evolution, but I also, I'm a painter, and, you know, my original, my original artworks that people responded to in the first place, they responded to those colors, and I'm always going to, you know, I'm going to pull from those colors when I'm, when I'm painting new songs, you know what I'm saying? So it's, I think it's really important, you know, to, to always, like, be true to yourself because I can't be more true than when I started off as Somo. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's most definitely important. So now I think one of the biggest questions that um, a couple of your fans that are um, my followers on social media, they wanted to know, you know, you got the tour going on and stuff like that. When can we expect another video from the album? Man, that's a good question. I, I have a lot of ideas for a few different ones of the songs, so. It's really just finding the time, like you said. I think I think I could definitely fit in a shoot during the tour. So I would definitely be, you know, getting prepared for a video from the album. I've also got some other content coming. So just be ready all around. That's what's up. And you mentioned content. How important is it, you know, to keep content out there to the fans? Because you know that's a that's a lot a big thing that some artists are struggling to understand that are new, or some even that are have been in the game, but they're trying to really get back out there. I think it, it, content, quality content is very important. And, you know, now we're living in the age where people are able to make music and basically I could write a song today and I could drop it. So it's like you deciding what's quality and, and going for it. And you also got to try to keep up. I mean, we got Future dropping two albums in a week. So it's time to speed up. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was kind of crazy how he just dropped two albums in two different weeks. I was like, <laughs> That's a overflow music. Yeah. Do you ever see stay like the, your stuff like the maybe you said you said that again? I said stay in the booth every day. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be. How often do you say like that you're um that you're writing or that you're in the studio yourself? Um, now I mean I have a studio at my house, so I try to get in there, you know, every day. Um, whether I'm just organizing some stuff or cutting a song. I think it's important to kinda dedicate a little time to your craft. Especially when it's your dream job, you know. I feel all right. <laughs> yeah, you definitely do. And, you know, just with writing, you know, like, where does a lot of the, the inspiration from these records come from? Because, like, you're, you're a different type of writer than a lot of these, you know, other artists that are out there. You know, where does the inspiration come from? Honestly, man, the, my inspiration comes straight from the music. Uh, I, I can't take credit for always, you know, bringing the mood to the room. Like, some of the producers and musicians I work with are incredible. And, you know, it could just start with a piano progression and, I'm a freestyle writer, so I basically I just stand in the in the booth and they'll either play guitar or piano or start a beat and I just sing whatever first take and I and I just take those melodies and I just build and I go. That's it. So 
I mean, really, I just pull the vibes from. I like sensual sounding music, so I tend to sing sensual lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's what you got to do. That's what you used to. That's what you do because it because it because it, 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 it's true to you. You know, it's no there's no fake in it when it's you know when it's something that's true to your heart. That's you know, and you can really write definitely. in that space. Right. But that's definitely yeah, important. Definitely. So now before I, I write, let you, know, you... It, it is important to just write, you know, like I don't always just write for me. So some days I might try to write a country song if I'm feeling like it. <laughs> I mean, you definitely, I mean, you definitely can do that. Cause I mean, you're from the South. Have you written any country songs before? Uh, I have definitely written some country songs that aren't placed, but I ride one of my, one of my big songs, right? I'm sure you know of it. Oh um, yeah. It actually just went. It just went gold as a a, a country song. <laughs> a country Ooh. artist actually covered it and put it on an album. So, yeah, I mean, if you like country, you know, check it out. It's cool. It's a it's a different sound. So, but that's that that's testament to that song. It's just a really well written song. So, I'm proud of it. Yeah, that's definitely one of my um, favorite songs from you. And just knowing that that song is you know really creating noise for itself is like that. How do you feel about that record? Because I mean. Yeah, that that that's a lit one for real. Yeah, that's that will forever be my my baby. I mean, I'm really proud and grateful that it's one of the first songs that I ever wrote, and it went it just recently went double platinum for me. So it's really just an honor to be able to you know put myself on a level with all these other artists with one of my first creations. Just just tells me that I have a whole lot more to come. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> and would you want to place um, records with other artists? Oh, definitely. And I'm I'm building up a repertoire, so if there's any artists out there listening, hit up my people. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. They definitely got to hit you up. So now, before I let you go, what cities are you most looking forward to um, going to, like, on this tour route? Man, I'm, honestly, I'm looking forward to all of them because I haven't really hit some of these major parts in springtime. And, you know, it's, it's springtime, so, you know, there's less clothing and more fun. It's hot. It's going to be a fun time. I'm just excited for the for the spring run in general. Indeed. And we're definitely looking forward to the show. We're definitely going to catch the uh, the New York one. We'll have to, you know, definitely, you know, chop it up there and everything. Definitely, man. That's always hype. I don't, I don't think I've been up to New York the past, like, five times without selling out. I think it should be a good night. People, you haven't got your tickets to the Answer Tour. You need to get it right now where you can buy your tickets, get the album right now. So, Mo, the Answer, the album, the tour, just, you know, just... Get with his movement because it's 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 amazing. He's an artist, he's a songwriter. I mean, you just you just been killing it, man. Like you really have come up a long way from like your beginning. So again, congratulations. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you having me on and everything. No doubt. So for all the fans that um are not following you, before we have you do a drop, tell them where they can um follow you, like on your social media. Yeah, it's real simple. All my social media is at or slash official summo, and then my website is officialsomo.com so real simple check it out you can get tickets on my website for the answers tour and also get physical copies of my album and all kinds of different packages and whatnot so check it out what up y'all it's somo and you're checking out my boy david Dwayne.